Hi there, my name is Paul Matheny, President and Senior Consultant to Matheny Consulting and OurMarketingGroup.com and welcome to the eMarketing video blog. These videos are designed to give you some pointers on using the internet a little easier and also to getting better results from your online marketing tools. Let's get started. I love my iPad 2 and a lot of clients and friends have asked uh, what do I actually do with this thing and I just wanted to give you a few quick uh, pointers. Um, one, I first bought the thing as a toy and it quickly uh, it became a, a, a business tool. Let's, um, let's talk about some of the things it can do. Well, First of all, uh, there's the iPad 2 features. There's FaceTime where you can actually do a FaceTime conversation with someone. Uh, getting past that, here's the home button whenever you need to get out of something. You push that little round button at the bottom. Uh, there's some real basic things. There's notes, of course, if you want to take notes. There's also the App Store, which is very easy to search for and find apps and install them in your iPad in just a matter of moments. That's some basic stuff. Uh, one thing that the um, iPad is much better for than the iPhone, and that is email. Uh, you can now um, actually read an email and actually type one, as opposed to just uh, trying to squint at one through an iPhone. The calendar function, uh, much, much better. Um, you can actually see your calendar appointments. You can go to month view, day view, week, or even list. Push the home button to get out of it. If you push the home button twice, this is one bad thing about an iPad or an iPhone 3GS and above, is it stores these applications in memory. Apple calls this a feature to quickly be able to get to those, but you want to go in every once in a while and close all these out because they eat up battery and uh, they eat up processor time. So every once in a while you want to go in and close out all your applications. Uh, web browsing. Web browsing is much, much better on the um, iPad than it was in on the iPhone. You don't have to squint at pages. Still, of course, does not do Flash, but now nah, what can you do? People also ask me how you can use some of the existing apps. For example, when I'm doing demonstrations or presentations to clients, I load them into the photo section of the iPad. And let's take a look. Here's some layouts that we did for uh, a direct response TV campaign. And zoom in on that. And you can get out of there. Maps, another great application. Uh, not so much entertainment, but pretty much you can type in do a search and pulls up that location. You also have the opportunity to do a hybrid or satellite map and we'll zoom in. You can type in a business for example let's type in Panera Bread Charlotte, North Carolina hit search It's going to give us, we'll go to Classic. It's going to give us various locations, but we're interested in the one down here near Ballantyne. You can click on it. Click on the little I for information. 
gives you the telephone number, directions, if you want directions, to where we're at, and there you go. Great application. Uh, there's tons of uses for that, and it saves you $2 per uh, 411 calls. So it's something to be thinking about. Speaking of phone numbers, you can synchronize all your Outlook or Google contacts, or there's a variety of other ways, but those are the two I use, right into your contact manager and your calendar so that all of your dates and contacts stay synchronized with all of your other computers. Well, this time we covered using email, browsing the web, downloading some apps from the uh, App Store, using maps uh, for 411, saving a little bit of money, synchronizing your contacts, some, some basic uh, iPad functions. The next time we're going to talk about uh, some sort of specific business uses, um, different applications to help you with day-to-day -day business, some that will help you synchronize all of your projects. We'll see you then.